in order to engage the kids in some positive relationship to food, you need to get them into the garden growing it, get them into the kitchen helping to cook it, and then they all want to eat it. In 1995, Alice Waters of Chez Panisse Restaurant had the idea for the Edible Schoolyard in Berkeley. And she worked with the school principal to start a one-acre organic garden and kitchen classroom at Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School. We're teaching students about cooking and we're teaching them about working together and why it's important to make healthier choices. We're giving them skills for life. It's really like texturous and stuff. And it feels better to have something that's fresher and newer and you know where it comes from. I have a volunteer that's willing to add water to this pile. Me. It really is transformative for a young person to come in and do real work in order to grow food. And students take a lot of pride and ownership in being involved in that process. We're going to put to the test how the ancient Egyptians may have moved the large stones that they used to build the pyramids. The lessons in the garden and the kitchen are connected to the science and humanities classes. They can come out into the garden and see those topics come to life in a hands-on and experiential way. Well, we're studying organisms and reproduction in general in cells. And this does give the students an opportunity to come out here and experience that in a, a slightly different way with bees and how they reproduce. Can you hear that? Yeah. That kind of squeakiness? Of that is, this is how fresh these are. These were literally picked about, oh, 40 minutes ago in the garden. I do feel like the kitchen is the perfect classroom because not only is it a delicious reward at the end of your work, but there are so many ways to really engage all of your senses, notice the smells of things as you cut them, notice the appearance and the sound. We do have parents and teachers and administrators who ask questions about safety. In the last 16 years, we have had less than five even nicks or cuts because we train students. We train students from the very beginning on how to be safe with the tools, what we expect their behavior to be in the garden and the kitchen. Cardamom is a spice, okay, and it's from India. Food is an amazing tool for teaching, especially when we're talking about history, because it makes a lot of things come alive. I'll trade it to India. You guys, we're China, we have lots of rice, come on. Simply put, food is magic. Everybody eats. And when people have a shared experience around something that's either very familiar or very different, it's a very bonding experience for them. You can sniff, you can smell, you can get your first bite ready. Our students here are trying something new or for the first time almost every time they come in the kitchen. We know that this program is working because we see the transformation of students from when they arrive in sixth grade and from that first time when they sit down in the kitchen and they tuck into a huge plate of greens over grains. We have also received feedback from students about how they really changed the way they thought about their choices and how they understood that their choices had impacts that were greater than just their personal impact. It impacted the environment, it impacted their family, it impacted their health. You know you've made it in a garden program when you have to discipline the students on not to eat all the turnips. <laughs>